Like Bomo show to you as well. How good white noise is is quite variable. Seems like with a frozen egg, you probably don't want white noise all that much. I guess like taking white noise and just hoping it gave us echo form was one way to be collector. <laughs> not, a, not a very reliable way to be collector. Okay. Last watch around, we just didn't get any damage early. Let's see if we can do better. That run was interesting. Well, I put it on YouTube. I don't put anything on YouTube. Somebody else puts runs on YouTube for me. I don't think that run was very interesting for what it's worth. <laughs> Is our hand next turn. At the start of your turn, scry three. Let's do it. Just don't play any cards. No reason to take damage from pain there. Kells. What is Wuncher's upgraded relic? It gives you three miracles instead of one. Yeah. Get to consecrate, maybe. Sort of needs some more damage. Isn't this upgrade really good? It is a very good upgrade. This one might be better. In this fight, the Consecrate upgrade was better. Oh, never mind. I'm the best. So this is 32 damage to everything. Do I even need that? I think I do. With how I played it, I think I ended up needing it. Maybe I could have played Eruption on the other one and not use the duplication potion. Is it important to play the lower ascensions like their ascension 20 get into good habits? I don't know. I just don't play the lower ascensions. That would be my recommendation. They are less engaging for me. Feels like a really weird spot. Currently I'm taking five this turn. We go Miracle, Eruption, 
consecrate strike flying slaves. That would also take five and end the fight. Should probably do that then, right? Concentrates 10 plus strike. Okay. Sash whips okay, cut through fates okay, sanctity is not very good. Hey, DLA! Yeah, bankster. When I go about making ascension 20 to 30, I don't personally need those to exist. Yeah, like asking asking me about how I play the game may not result in getting answers that have any relevance whatsoever to how you would most enjoy playing the game because we're different people. A cool thing about games is that when I input something in a game, it does exactly the same thing as when you input something in a game. But that doesn't mean that both of us would like most enjoy putting the same inputs into the game. I feel like I abstracted that slightly too much for it to mean anything. The game is going to treat us the same, but that doesn't mean that we have to treat the game the same. We should all treat the game the way that, you know, brings us the most happiness or challenge or whatever it is that's important to us. We'll go with a cut through fate. Ascension 16 to 20 need to exist? Yeah, I like Ascension 20. It's like my ideal difficulty for this game, I think. I don't think there are many people in the player base who want the game to be harder than I want it to be. It's my general impression. hoping not to draw pain, but sure, here we are. Floria Blows is okay, probably. Meditate, I think, is. It's a card that lets you do a lot of really cool things with Watcher, Meditate. Some people like to speedrun the game, some people like to play Ascension 20 Heart Kill, some people like to win streak Ascension 15. Yeah, absolutely. So, when you ask me what you should do, I'm not necessarily going to give you a very good answer, because I just don't... don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know what you enjoy. This calm do when you leave calm you get two energy. Other than that, it doesn't do anything by itself, but there are some cards which change what they do or do something extra or whatever if you're in calm. You heard Act 3 used to be way harder. I think Act 3 has always been pretty easy related to the other stuff. I think there was a time when Ascension 15 was the only, was like the highest difficulty. I think there was a time I looked at it and I had not died to an Act 3 boss in the last hundred runs. And I like, like, at that point why is there a boss fight at the end, you know? 
some sort of a letdown. Explodey boys were two turns. Oh, that was like for... Explodey boys being two turns was like for like one week or something. The hallway fights were made more difficult in Act 3. But that was only for like a week and then it got mostly changed back. I don't think I ever fought this Neko Mystic fight. Maybe I'm misremembering though. Seems vaguely like a good idea to rest. This way, if this question marks another elite fight or scrap ooze, hey, scrap ooze, we can actually get something out of it. With Tungsten Rod, I'm gonna go for it now. I'm gonna see if we can win this without a rest. Probably doable. Wasn't the number of invisible stacks changed on the heart once? What are, what are invisible stacks? Oh, pain doesn't hurt me anymore, which means Centennial Puzzle doesn't go off. You thought I fought it and liked Sneko Mystic. It's possible that I like fought it once or twice and didn't think it was that big a deal. I really don't remember. It was a while ago, I guess. I don't feel like I've played it enough times to get to a point where I like really liked it. But in general, I think maybe a, a more relevant thing to say was that I was sort of okay with Act 3 hallway fights being harder. I think we like keep erupting over and over again, maybe? I don't know. Go Consecrate. Remember when the heart didn't have damage per turn limits? Yep. I lasted, what, like two days or something? The first time I fought the heart, I did not get to see what it did because I killed it on turn one. The good old days. I'm gonna save my two health here, I think. I get attacked this turn for six. turn I don't get attacked. Have I considered... Um, I haven't generally run mods. This is just another fail point, and this is my job. Basically why. It's another thing that could go wrong and make the game crash, or... Whatever. Volt lesson learned in omniscience.
Um, I think we lesson learned with meditate. Meditate lets us do it more consistently, I feel like. I have this. This makes it harder on occasion. It's hard not to take Volt. Although Volt, I think, is at its worst, like, at the beginning of Act 2, and at its best in Act 4, so we're at the part of the run where Lesson Learned might be better than Volt. I have a reason to care about upgrades a lot. Maybe not a lot. But they're going to be fine. We got some card draw. Mm -hmm. I like Pyramid here, sure. With Pyramid probably hiding from Act 2 Elites. I hadn't had Tungsten Rod. Maybe I don't get to take Pyramid also. I need a big block card. So we go Eruption. Strike plus Flying Sleeves Consecrate. 9, 27. 31, 51, 61. This is pen nibbed, so it's another 40. Wait, the one before it's pen nibbed. <laughs> um, I'm sure this works. We'll, we'll get there. I have to energy potion. I didn't realize that. <laughs> this has been an adventure. I could just go defend plus meditate here. And save the energy potion. We take six. But get to save our energy potion. I could also just go Consecrate Flying Sleeves and kill, but I don't get an upgrade. I think an upgrade's worth 6 health. So let's do we use the Energy Potion, 6 health, or the upgrade. We're choosing between those three things. We can lose one of them. As close as a store. We go to a store next. I think six health. To the hand is great. Just lucky he's not that bad here. I think talk to the hand is better though. Meat on the bone. Uh. Yup. Okay, with meat on the bone, we get to be a little bit more aggressive with pathing. Rod saved us a million health already. That's good. That's a lot of health. Huh. 
This curse is worse than pain. That's awkward. These bites upgrade. I have meat on the bone already. Oh, this one's really close. So lowering what half of my max HP is is pretty scary. We get a 51 health below 26. We get meat on the bone. The bites are better than strikes and actually can hit pretty hard. And also we can upgrade them with lesson learned. So there are a lot of good things that the bites do. Time more in a partner. Hope your nap was lovely. Take bites and remove them all. Yeah, I would be removing bites. I got them. I think I'd rather not. Pyramid probably makes it better as well, though. I don't know. It's close. Plus is a pathway to abilities that many consider to be bad gameplay. It certainly is. That's the truth. <laughs> Why not pay 8 gold and avoid this fight? This fight gives better rewards than on like almost any floor in the game. <laughs> gives you gold, a red mask, a card reward. Like a very easy elite fight. We should eat bear. Oh, we got an upgrade from Lesson Learned as well. But I take like two damage or something. Four damage. Alright. Hard reality is like alright. I think we're good. Relics actually matter. Yeah, they do. I'm puzzled by the question. You go this way? I have like no block cards. I have tungsten rod and talk to the hand. We could die in Act 2 again. It's been sort of the theme of the day.
I just don't think I have enough to kill the elites, unfortunately. Seems iffy. Beep. What do I think about being able to modify relic? sort of confusing. Go eruption, consecrate, lesson learned, 19 plus 26. Yeah. Double meditate plus seems sort of unfair. Right? It seems sort of unfair should upgrade like eruption and the meditates or something. <sighs> Get jaxed. I think we might just get jaxed here. Seems okay to me. Meditate ends your turn, Nuxara, when you play it. <laughs> Great. Successfully avoided the store. Way to go, me. Um... I'm gonna take key over it. Jacks over mutagens. Uh, cause I can I don't have any scaling in this deck. I can use jacks to be my scaling. Got enough strength to beat the Bossaru. I also have a tungsten rod, so it deals less damage to me, which is like not that big a deal, but it's sort of cute. A little bit cute. It's also a zero cost card with Pyramid and with Meditate, so I can like get it back over and over again. It'll be all right. Tantrum. Flurry of Blows. Flurry of Blows seems insane here, actually. Like, every single... Yeah, that seems really, really good. Okay, let's upgrade this guy. Hey, Ravnarok.
starting to get things going here. Oh, I guess... Like, Flurry doesn't really meaningfully come back here because I can't play it. Because my turn ends when I meditate. Whatever. Deus Ex. I think Perseverance. Perseverance plus Meditate? Yeah, that seems strong. Remember back when there were only two characters? Gosh, like ever so vaguely. That was a long time ago. So since I'm playing Eruption like every turn, upgrading Eruptions sort of gives me another energy every turn-ish. Something like that. I don't do a great job of removing artifact charges, so I should probably just talk to the hand here. Probably never going to actually get that applied. Pressure points is like Rampage and Claw at the same time. It's, uh, sounds huge. Sounds gargantuan. I think play lots of shit here. Three. So we're gonna want to defend at some point. Deals twenty two. To everything? What? <laughs> um. Yeah, this is rad. I don't know what order I'm meant to do this in. Is it worth, like, counting? Like, really? I don't think it's really worth counting. Like, maybe I'm meant to flurry first so it can come back when I eruption. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> that is my opinion. its way. It looks like I kill this turn though. Oh. Remember how utterly complicated original Watcher was and how easy it was to go infinite? I just remember it being easy to go infinite. I don't remember it being complicated. But mostly because it was easy to go infinite. It felt not very complicated. Alpha? It felt painful. I guess, okay, okay. 
I guess complicated in so far as like you built an infinite and then it was sort of complicated to play the cards in the right order and if it, you ever played them in the wrong order you died. I guess complicated in that way. The different sort of complicated from what I was thinking. I was thinking complicated meant like it was difficult to work out which cards to take, which I don't think it was. Complicated part was probably because of the lack of card art. Oh, that's true. Lack of card art makes it a lot harder to play. Just trying to work out if I take Alpha here or Ragnarok. Probably Ragnarok. As long as we get a fourth energy, I think Ragnarok's going to be really good with Pyramid. Um, can I do that? Sort of ruins our deck. I think we do this and don't get a fourth energy. Yeah, we're definitely not taking Sneko Eye that instantly kills us. Joker just um breaks too much of the stuff we're doing for it to be good. I guess now we're in the interesting situation where we took Ragnarok and then didn't get a fourth energy. Still be able to play Ragnarok sometimes though. grow up with someone who did the talk to the hand thing to them. It was just like completely unbeatable. You'd be like having a conversation and they'd be like talk to the hand because the face don't care no more. And there's like no counter. It's OP. I think I have like deep scars from my childhood <laughs> from, from having interactions like that. The counter is that you lick their hand. What if you don't want to lick their hand? <laughs> Just lick their hand, forehead. <laughs> um, uh, Mental Fortress is sort of interesting. We change stances a decent amount. You ready to abandon? Pretty sure Ragnarok would have been lethal there. Yep, you don't have to end fights the second that you got lethal in this game. There are lots of ways to end fights better than that. You might heal with something, you might upgrade a card, you might change what number a relic's on. This is not a game about finding lethal exclusively. Hard to deal with the normalities. Yes, we do this one.
Sort of gross. I'm pretty sure I have to jax, right? I always say Act 3 is some of the best events. Best as in, like, for our chances to win the game. This is one of them. This event makes you much more likely to win the game when you get it. You get, like, gold and a card reward and a relic. The fight's incredibly easy. We got an upgrade out of this, too, because we got to play Lesson Learned. Whenever you enter Wrath, draw two cards. I wonder how close I am to an infinite here. I feel like I'm probably pretty close. I just picked up Peace Pipe. The infinite would be, like... Vigilance Eruption? That only makes two energy and costs three. So we'd need to get some better way to enter Calm. But we would have an infinite. We'd also have to exhaust cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 18. It's a lot of cards. And if I don't want to play it, it's just stuck in my hand all the time, and if I'd awakened one first. Probably not necessary. Probably there just isn't really a fight where it's that good anyway. I think since I already have Mind Bloom, I go this way now. Because fights give me upgrades unless they're transient. So fights are probably better than events here. No card exhaust on this class. Well, there's like a peace pipe and stores where you can remove cards. Sort of don't mind taking damage. Meditate in the turn. It does, yes. Address and the FAQ.
So a defend upgrade, sure. Fasting seems very hard to make work. Sense of Steel isn't terrible. I don't think I need a Fire Potion either. If it ends the turn, how do I get an infinite? I don't get an infinite with Meditate. <laughs> get an infinite with this card. When I was talking before, I was talking about these two cards. I've never... All right. So, I didn't take Rush down, so I probably don't really want Fear No Evil. It would be good if I had another way of entering Wrath, maybe. Is Simmering Fury really good here? Can't be that good. I think I just go Lockwork Souvenir. And buy this steroid potion. Fear no, evil. fear no evil is some energy. It isn't. I, I. <laughs> Wait. I generally don't want back seating. But especially backseating when, like, I have just said why I'm doing something and then you say something that implies you didn't, like, listen to or understand what I'd said is just not very desirable. So, like I said, if I had more ways to leave calm, that would have been good, but I don't, so it wasn't. Does Artifact block the fasting down? It does, yep. Holy crap. We found an enemy that's actually going to attack us. Okay, better. As for when, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Akubo Mo Show to you too. Wonder if we can win this turn. Probably not with Malleable. Uh, we could, but we couldn't get an upgrade, right? 24 times 6 is a lot. Maybe I'm okay with no upgrade here. Let's see what this leaves us up. Yeah. That's fine. Empty Mind. Empty Mind is surprisingly good here. Pretty sure. Now I need a Fear No Evil. Rip. I explain my method for Watcher. Um, try not to die. Generally, you block with like calm type things and deal damage with things that look a lot like strike plus and that's the basic idea
Get the were otter. Uh, 31 months. Hunger Bomu show to you as well. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Like eruption, flying sleeves, consecrate, Ragnarok. Seems like a pretty good turn. I wonder if it deals too much damage. Probably doesn't. Maybe it does. We'll find out soon. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Sets us up for a lesson learned. Wait, except they don't have chat. I'm weak for one turn. It's very rude. Actually, I want to take damage from meat on the bone anyway. I probably don't want to take 16 damage, <laughs> though. <laughs> See ya, Rylor. We have a single non-basic block. We got more than that. We've got, um, walk to the hand and... Where'd it go? Mental fortress. I guess I just meditate for eruption and then win next turn. Because I can't win this turn at all, right? There's no way. So. This is sort of the only play. I guess that makes things more straightforward. Plus might be worth it just for the Reptomancer fight. Because it is an insane card in the Reptomancer fight. And the Reptomancer fight doesn't seem that easy. If we take it for the Reptomancer fight, we just one-shot the Reptomancer with Pendib, probably. I will take it. Double cultist potion. If we could work out some way to block, we could like totally win. Juicy! Thanks very much for the Twitch Prime. Agbo Mushu to you too. I don't know how I feel about that. Flurry of Blows comes back anyway. That's why I get to draw more cards, I guess. Turn looks interesting. 
we go Eruption Ragnarok. Is that going to be enough? 9 plus 72, 81, 97, 109. We're short by a lot. Instead of that, we do this then. This is fine upside down. Sixty-five, fifty-six, thirty-six. Hmm. Fucking hell. Sixty-five, fifty-six, forty-four, twenty-four. Dud. when I win these fights. I should fight more of them. I'm gonna take the Holt Plus. This card is actually insane here. Um, I don't know, what does the store do? Of 133 gold. I'm sort of considering going this way. Probably kills me, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cards left to upgrade. Probably kills me. I guess card removes good. What is this relic? This is the drum. <laughs> Empty mind plus rushdown. Transient. I guess we'll find out how this fight goes pretty soon as we fight it. Could I have played the defend there and not taken damage? I could have. 
And do I still believe Watcher should have an extra stance? Um, have you seen the Wanderer yet? Jax is sort of interesting here. I think we can play it. I wonder if I can kill it. Maybe. Can we eat the transient? Can we learn our lesson, perhaps? My hand is full. Oh, that scry is worthless next turn, though. It's sort of interesting. If I wanted to kill it for real, I would play Jax again here, but I think it's better to just save my health. Wait. I don't have Eruption at the moment? Wait. Surprise! Alright, very easy game. Very easy game. This is it. This is the turn. We're about to learn our lesson. Doesn't work. Lesson failed. Pressure points plus is probably not good. It's probably not good. Might be good then. I'm going to wait until next turn and see if it's the big attack next turn or not. If it's the big attack next turn, I probably want to use the buffer on it. Otherwise, I'll use the buffer on Jax. Yeah, small attack. We can just Jax them. Oh, whoops. Does a transient taste like chicken? Um, no bile, yeah. Not the best meal. Never seen pressure points useful. I had a run where pressure points was like very clearly the only reason that I won. You can get Watcher Duck Switch. Um, draw enough cards that they just get to like play it every single turn. enough. Okay, our health is like sort of back. I don't think I want another meditate. I feel like two is the right number. 
We're having more trouble drawing Eruption than we are getting the Meditates going. to Floria Blues her next turn. Divinity would be good with Demario. It'd be okay. sleep. It sounds cozy. Tantrum would be pretty good, yeah. I saw a Tantrum earlier and didn't take it. I've been regretting that a little bit. Uh... Why isn't this pulsing? Wait, what? Doesn't this pulse when you're below 50% health now? Well, at or below 50% health? Am I not at 50% health? It's bugged. <laughs> Great. Useful. Cool. I am at 50, not below. If your HP is at or below. God, I even like explained that like three times in my sentence. <laughs> All right, um, scroll plus sanctity plus meditate plus. I know it gave me the HP anyway. What I was pointing out was that the um, pulsing effect is bugged. Okay, anyway. Scrawl Plus is like... This is the worst that Scrawl Plus has ever been probably and I still presumably take it. I don't know, is Sanctity Plus maybe better? Sanctity Plus isn't very good. Do I just take another Meditate? I'm just gonna take another Meditate. Gotcha, I think Stumpburger. The thought was I could like bowling bash rep the Mancer dead with Pennib, but that seems sort of difficult to set up right about now. It's gonna be a big turn.
Hi, Eruption. Glad you could join us. just sort of assumed I could meditate at the end of all this, and I totally can't. Eighteen times six is not enough. I guess this is the best we can do. A little bit shitty. <laughs> Might not have been the best turn. I wonder if I am okay with a second Foresight Plus. Like, maybe it's good? Let's say maybe it's good. We'll try it. forgot to recall at the end. No, I'm flawless. I have never made a mistake. There was one time I almost made a mistake, but then I caught myself. <laughs> Shut up, awesome. What do you know? You don't know me? Yeah, I thought we were talking about just today. <laughs> I didn't realize, didn't realize you meant like of all time. <laughs> oh. I may have made a mistake or two. There is something to do with all of these cards. to the hand helps a lot here. Uh, 
Did I forget to play Mental Fortress? No, I meant not to play Mental Fortress. Genius. Also not true. We'll go with it, though. Miracle's just not doing very much, is it? Oh well. We finished one shot. Hmm. Hey, fractal guy. Talk to the hand doesn't work anymore. Uh-oh. That changes what I should be getting back. Quite a bit. That was only the first fight? Oh my god. Alright. Fight number two. Sort of don't have any block cards here. A little bit. Yeah. Once we get Meditates going, we'll be alright though, I think. Meditates and halts. Thank you. 
Hey, Natures! How are you? Are you still playing TFT? Need a little bit more block from somewhere. I really want to play Perseverance, but maybe I need to. Oh, could I just kill? Holy shit, I almost could. I play the new TFT set. Put in like probably 20 to 30 games. Some of it while drunk and streaming, some of it offline. Don't think I like it as much as the first set. Might kill this. Probably not, right? As long as I draw Meditate next turn, I think I'm okay. meditates. Oh, I should do this, right? Probably. successfully drawn one card. So Ragnarok Pendibbed, I think, does it. 36 times 6 is a hell of a lot. Go Act 4. That's 146 gold. Watch your polish enough for official release soon. I think I'm the wrong person to ask. Certainly a lot more polished than it was at first. <laughs> All right, we did a good job with lesson learned. Toke versus rest. Getting rid of a strike seems okay. Oh, I should have put Penneb on like 7 probably or something. Yeah, that was bad. I think I took. Maybe get rid of the unupgraded defend actually. I don't have any dexterity or anything, it's just a pretty bad card. Lesson learned. I think the defend is worse than it. Try thanks for the 26 months. Hug Bomushu to you as well. The best sub anniversary, I suppose it is. A 
another Holt seems pretty good. That card has seemed very good. Better than a card remove, I think. Better than the relics as well. I don't know what I do with the rest of my gold. Maybe just leave. <sighs> Maybe an empty body plus. It looks like a pretty card. Maybe good instincts plus. The rightmost store relic makes you scry three every time you shuffle your deck. I think use one of these here and one of them in the heart fight, probably. I might use both of them here. For the heart fight, I have bronze scales, and also at like... I don't know. I might need one of them for the heart fight. Use one of them here. Yeah, yeah. This is just my hand for next turn, basically. I'm drawing a bunch of burns, so I need to meditate or an empty mind so that I can leave Wrath. I'm sorry, deal what? <laughs> Holy shit. This is better. I could take a 9 this turn. I would end up at higher health. I take 9 this turn. I'm getting attacked for 38. Apparently I'm taking... Fourteen, eight. Eight's the worst amount to take. I think I'm good. Arakalcum Mango. Another talk to the hand. That's insane. Ugh. Turn one talk to the hand as well. I think the extra talk to the hand pushes us over the edge. Next turn we start in Wrath and get to... Uh... Play Holt and Good Instincts and then end in Calm. Um, unless it's the big attack, in which case we just use the buffer probably. Hold on to our stuff for later. Might get rid of Lesson Learned here. Yeah, Drawing Perseverance seems worth. It's another big block. 
Okay, so it is the multi-attack. But I full block it? Netflix should make a Slave Aspire series. I agree. I've expressed that I'm available to them. Still haven't heard back. Oh. This only blocks for three. <laughs> it's pretty awkward. Jorbs is the heart. I'll take it. <sighs> Fuck. I want to draw all three cards. <laughs> Why is this so hard? This isn't Netflix. This is not Netflix, believe it or not. What year is it? I want to draw Meditate here. I also want to draw Talk to the Hand. Weird. Oh, the artifact charges are up. So talk to the hand never does anything. That's rude. I guess I can just do this, right? Holt's interesting. Maybe it's worth it to look for Thingamajig now. No, I sort of can. Alright, never mind. Let's do that. Yeah, that's pretty good. How to draw Eruption. Probably an order in there somewhere. I think we just win next turn, right? I have 16 strength. Seems like we win. So a good little run. Good little run. Didn't even end with a lesson learned.
I'm up to the part of the stream where I'd usually play something other than Slay the Spire, but today it is charity day. Today we are raising money for the American Heart Association via Streamlabs. And because of that, you get extra Spire. If you... Donate to the stream at all today. There's actually like when you go to the donation link, which you can find from exclamation mark charity. It'll direct you straight to the American Heart Association instead of to me. You can send the money there. Help people fight heart disease, help prevent heart disease, help research about heart disease. 